Hi, it's Nancy welcoming you to Garden Scroll. So today I trimmed off some of my old dead stuff, mostly, um, mostly tall flocks that's just given up, but even as it's given up, it's also renewing itself and coming up from the root. It'll try to do well for fall. But since it's all low growing things over here now that are still left, if anything, uh, I put some of my pots that I just have set, had sitting over just in a little circle just because I didn't know what to do with them, but I wanted the plants that were in them. But I put them over here. And they fill up this blank area nicely. And I think they'll even do well here. I'm hoping they do. And I did go ahead and put some fresh soil and some of my front pots I still need to do all of the back ones but I got some of the front pots that have the sedum or succulents in them that um, that had died out a lot of my succulents died out but I'm going to give them another try and I hope they'll make it it looks better already just knowing you tried sometimes helps and I don't know what to tell you about my idea of putting this, um, oh, I don't know what you call this, like it's a plastic fencing, but um, when I had it down, okay, I had to do a battery change, but I was saying, when I had this netting or plastic fencing down, I did not get the armadillo to come back, but as soon as I took it up so I could mow and left it off, this happened all over again so I have put some soil in the spots where he dug up huge holes and I did put it back down put my little fencing plastic fencing back down again so I'm hoping and it looks like that may be staving him off I, I suppose he does not like to walk through this or even to try to dig through it so or root through it but hopefully this will have time to grow back and look good again. It doesn't really even look bare over here where I took them, except that there's places where the Creeping Jenny, of course, couldn't grow under the pots. So I may go ahead and put a few little sprigs of the Creeping Jenny there so it can go ahead and fill that out when I get the time. But today I'm going back to my movie. It's getting there. It has a long ways to go, but it is beginning to look good. I'm proud of it. And hope my sister will be too. I know she will be too. And this is another place where I went ahead and put some more soil in and a few more of the little blue spruce succulents. But I will need to add some to, to this. Or maybe I'll just let it fill out itself. Hopefully it will do that. I noticed my little crinium bulb has not bloomed again and it may be that they won't bloom in a pot so I may have to start putting this in the ground and digging it up each um, each year it's just so much easier to leave it in the pot and bring the pot out but if it doesn't bloom that just kind of defeats the whole purpose
Okay, I put that um, that hardware cloth, plastic hardware cloth down. That that little sneaky um, armadillo. He came around the edges. He came around the edges. Skipped right over this. Came right up this way, as you can see, and then just tore up that, whatever that means. That's what my husband used. That's the term my husband uses, and I'm sure it could be used for my pretty. I mean, my my lawn that used to be pretty, sort of pretty. It was getting to look pretty good, but now it looks like this again. And that little snake, that little ribbon snake that's been out here, I thought he had found greener pastures. I hadn't seen him in days, and then when I when we pulled up from coming back from breakfast, he ran across the lawn right out here into this area somewhere. <laughs> so he's still around. But it's September, September the 10th, and things are starting to fill out. Just a, a little bit ago, a couple of weeks or so ago, I was telling you that I thought this one might still have a chance, and I did go ahead and fill up this one little spot that was totally... Uh, it had died out and one in the back but the one in the back died again but this one I'm pretty sure is ready to go I think it built a root from one of that I had clipped off from up higher up and just put it down there but it has to have built its root or it would have just totally be wilted by now so it will fill out at least enough not to just leave a, a big gap there and it's looking good that old armadillo. He didn't even leave my flowers alone. Looky there, he dug around some of them. Luckily, he didn't want to go wading through everything. He backed off of there and went on to the middle of the lawn. It looks like he might have started right here and just went all the way around looking for a place. This could have been his place. Just enough gap for him to squeeze through, get in there. And aerate the lawn. That's what my husband says. Well, it's okay if the mold and whatever dig up everything because they're just aerating the soil for you. But you know what I feel about aeration at this point, of course. <laughs> And look, I purchased this yesterday, and it's got several in there, at least four little plants, individual plants. And I'm planning on taking this apart, <laughs> you know, because I'm Miss Thrifty. But um, I'm planning on taking this apart and putting each little individual plant into a place where I need some color. Actually, I doubt if I can get it here, but if I could, wouldn't that be pretty? One of those hanging out the front or two, one on either side of her. I may try it. And the sedums are beginning. They've been in the beginning stages, but they're getting close to being full bloom now. This is the little sedum. It doesn't get very big, and I use it in pots a lot. Uh, but it's putting on its pretty little, just a little tuft of color with lots of teeny tiny little flowers that make up a, a just a big flat flower head that of course the butterflies love. They love this little plant in the fall when it blooms. This one is called Autumn Joy uh, and this one is called thundercloud. I see my little copper plant has a beautiful coppery leaf on it. The one on the other end of course does not. It's still just a little green plant but I still love it. It's still healthy and beautiful and that counts for a lot. And look at this coleus. Isn't that a beauty too? 
and putting on its it, it was mostly all the darker color for so long but it's putting on this pretty fall color just like it knows well fall is coming and I want to put on my new fall outfit I did trim my zinnias once but look at this I need to do it again and that I I have a hard time finding time to do it um, because I just think it's it's pretty out here just the way it is and I don't want to clip them off but I know if I would clip them off it wouldn't be long before they would absolutely put on put on another little showing of bloom and that's what I want if you don't clip them off they will just go to seed and think that they're done for the season and I don't want them to be done I want them to be fresh and beautiful like these not spent like these those definitely need to be clipped off of there and given another chance to bloom the fall pepper plants are beginning to turn their pretty colors I have some that are uh, red and some that are a purple color and some this may be one of the ones that actually changed from a red to a purple I want to do so much in the garden and it's the time to start getting it done and I have been working and getting a few things done but I've been doing more much more on my sister's movie than on the garden but I'm so proud of it it's turning out and I just love it I'm sure she will too I'm not quite ready to um, get it all on a make a file yet I I'm actually waiting on a great niece to um, send me a picture and I hope she does if she doesn't it'll be fine too but I hope I can get her picture on in the movie also look everything is wanting to show up for fall just like showing up for my sister Rosie Thanksgiving dinner you know it's time to show up and shine then but I know I won't have everybody in my sister's movie but I know that I have uh, my great niece's brother in this movie so I would love to have her in it too and I'm sure my sister would love it that way too if we can get it that way so here's my little green copper plant but look you can see it's trying to put on some of the pretty colors in there too and all of these zinnias need to be clipped off again also I just hate to do that because look at this beautiful bloom but I know these are only fade from here and I need to clip them off and let them renew themselves and put on another beautiful display I would actually like to have some color in this little pot it's pretty but if it just had some color in there it would show off these darker purple and red at the coleus back there just a little bit more and make it a little more special and a little impatient would do that if I could find one that's coming up where maybe I don't want it oh right there might be one right right there and if I could find a day cool enough to transplant it and get it going there it might just put on flowers and and just really beautify that little pot up and I purchased this pot you can get some or these pots actually but you can get some pretty nice pots now uh, on sale they're selling them out because of course Christmas is coming and I don't mind that they put Christmas up early. I love Christmas too, so I'm right there with them. 
the longer I can enjoy it, the better. But I also, I did purchase these little pots, and I'm going to put them out there somewhere by my blue bird bath and fill those up with some pretty fall plants. And then I got this little uh, trellis thing, or shepherd's hook thing, to put them on. And I'm going to try to get that set up out there to look good. And I purchased these which are just little it's a fencing but i'm going to take them apart and use them for um for garden stakes i've got some things that are falling down and over into some other things and i just want to see both of them so i'll i'm going to put some of these in those areas or where i need to walk and it's all out in my pathway and just kind of get it kneaded up a little bit Look at all the color. Everything is just uh, reaching out, reaching out to shine. And this is Agara. This one is pink. I also have some white, which are not blooming like this right now. This one was not blooming when my friend Alma was here. And she said, what is this plant? And I tried to explain it to her, but I wish she could see it now. So I have even gotten some of my bird baths cleaned out. This, of course, is not one of them, but it just looks so pretty this morning anyway with all the pretty flowers around it, making it bright and beautiful. Everything and everyone is excited and welcoming fall. And it's not even here yet because we just want it to be so badly and just the mornings and the evenings are feel like fall so we're just enjoying them and getting excited about it and this is another little pot where the it's dark it's beautiful but it's dark and i need some of that pretty color flowing out of it if i could get some there look the dashandra has really taken a leap downwards <laughs> it's beautiful but this um uh, planatus beside it has just crisped up and I need to get some of this off of here I'm so reluctant to cut them back because I did that once and it died so I try to just rustle it off and even leave some of this brown ratty stuff there it's better than losing my plant and I don't know if that really causes it to do that but it did that for me one time so I'm leery of it happening again I don't want to lose my clematis but this is another spot where even though it's very pretty like it is, if on either side of this Dachandra I had some color coming out would be great. But this is a little, of course you know if you've seen any of the garden posts that I put on YouTube, you know that this is a little pale yellow petunia and it may bloom again it's already bloomed two times maybe three so it may not bloom again too but um i would like to put some maybe that trailing vinca on either side of it i know it's not going to go as far as i would like it to i should have got two of those in that but anyway and now that i'm looking at this i'm also seeing that i need to clip these seed heads off of the or these seeds off of my lilies so that they won't put their energy into doing this but will put it into the bulb where they will come back and look great again next year you know what there's no time like the present so I clipped those off I am so guilty of coming out here and seeing so many things I need to do and then I think I'll wait till I get my boots on and I'll wait till I get my gardening garb on. But, but it, it took no time to clip that off and now it's a job done. I just love jobs that are done. They're so much more appealing than jobs that need to be done. Of course, I'm also guilty of thinking it won't take long to do this, 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 this. And pretty soon you're racing dark to get it done in the garden to get the watering done <laughs> and um, you realize you know dark's gonna win 
And look at this. I said my white was not blooming, but it made a liar out of me. And this I can handle. I just love when things don't go the way you thought they would, but they go better. And of course, that's my blue burbeth, which I actually did get somewhat clean. And um, that's in that area is where I plan on putting that shepherd's hook with with the um, little blue pots hanging off it. We'll see how that will go, but that's uh, in my mind's eye or in my thought process right now. Poor little Vinka. It was trying to give up, but I think it would go again if I get out here and get all these old yellow. There's more yellow than there is green there, but if I would get that off and and just give it another chance when it's a little cooler and as I'm saying that it was cooler this morning but it's beginning to be pretty warm oh look the monarchs are out too I put a few things in this little pyramid it, it was just so scraggly. I had petunias trying to get them. Last year it filled us up with petunias, but this year not so much. <laughs> so I have a marigold here. If I put one on the other side, that would balance it out a little bit and fill it up somewhat. But I just need more blooms, more color here if I can figure something out. Or even just foliage. Foliage plants are also beautiful like the uh, coleus plants that I've put in here and I see a purslane weed right in there too I've got to get that out of there again no time like the present so much better to get this out now than when it puts its seeds down everywhere and comes up everywhere and it doesn't bloom pretty blooms it just puts down seeds and, and they get everywhere and this is another place I would love to have some color. You may can tell that I did put some little uh, volunteer petunia plants in here. But I don't know if they'll have time to actually bloom. They may, which would be great. But if I can find something, either some trailing vinca or periwinkle or even, even some more of the pretty purslane moss that's real flower not weed and um, we'll see I don't know it's kind of pretty like that but I prefer if it had a little more color coming out of it and this this beautiful bougainvillea it is doing so well right now I I would not have gotten it if I didn't think my other one was going to die because it's a plant I'll have to bring in and maybe be able to take out and maybe not. But, and it is coming up from this little pot is just not deep enough for it. So that pot that I just showed you in the front, the gray one or um, hope looking one, it is what I plan on putting this in so that it'll have plenty of room for its roots to grow without growing out of the ground. And then I'll want to find some beautiful prominent place to display that. I also hope that I can pick it up and bring it in with my husband's help because it's going to get heavy. This one is heavy and it's this small. Look at this lovely uh, strawberry drop coleus. It hadn't done a whole lot this summer. They struggle like we do, just like the gardeners do. But once they get a little cool, a little taste of that cooler weather, and they're ready to go, let's do this. How beautiful! And of course, this little pot needs color, color color it's got the color green green and green basically a little bit of burgundy there and that pretty spike and then just basically shades of green a little bit in this a beautiful strawberry drop coleus here it went the pretty colors more than the deeper colors but I love them both. I do love them both. But these deeper, darker colors do need something brighter to bring your attention to them so you can just enjoy their pretty color as well. These, they are the stars that bring your eye to 
those darker plants. And I have a coleus picked out to put in this little hole right here. It has some of these pretty peachy colors in it. And it's one of the ones that are for shade. So this will, this should be a perfect spot for it. Because of course it gets the shade from the weeping willow tree. And it just needs that little pop of color. So your eye will be brought over here and you'll think, oh, that looks pretty. <laughs> So I love those feelings and look at this. Even this begonia is brighter, more beautiful. It's like fall is here. It's time to shine again. And I never have got out here and uh, I would like to go ahead and take these and put them in separate pots. I didn't have enough at the beginning of the season of these, but they have done so well. Now, if just moving them to a pot of their own didn't kill them, which I hope it doesn't, and I hope I do eventually get that job done, it most likely will not happen today. Even when there's no time like the present, this one is just not going to happen. You know, sometimes it's just going to take more than you can get done in a day, so you have to let some of it go for later. But honestly, I feel so accomplished getting the movies done that I had planned for many years to do for my, my sisters and my brothers. I did get to do my brother's movies before they passed away. They even got to see them. So that's wonderful. And, and it, it's just, actually my sister's is finished, but it needs tweaking and it needs to be put in a file and put on a flash drive. But other than that, she will have it. And then I would still love to do my baby girl one. And then I want to get started on my book or restart it. I've started it twice before. And I just noticed that this is a little stray, uh, there's my moss that's the real thing. If that wasn't blooming, I would probably pull that up thinking, I'm not giving this a chance to get started here. But it is, it's blooming. That may be some I will go ahead and put over in that pyramid to give it a little color. And this one is looking great this morning. This one's looking good. This one in the center is a rose moss. And it has pulled its little root out of the ground. And I don't even know if that's going to live. I may have to put one of those that are down there up here in this one. So there's just no end of the things to do in the garden if you can find the time. And I love doing it if the weather is nice. Which, you know, we don't have a lot of nice gardening weather in Oklahoma. A long gardening season, but not much time to really enjoy the garden or the work you have to do in it in the heat. Oh my goodness look at this it's gone to seed this is a weed that I do not want here and all these will put down thousands or hundreds of others this is coming up and it's gotten this big before I noticed it was here they have a tendency to grow right up where you can't see them until they put on their seed and then they think I'm home free now I'll be here forever sometimes they're right but this is one no time like the present that I am throwing away right now. And this is another place where a trailing vinca may go or periwinkle, but it just would look so good flowing right out of this if I could get it to grow there. Give it some color and even emphasize this other little trailing plant a bit. 
so this is one place where I wanted one of my little fences that I showed you earlier and I did put one there but it is not taking care of this I either need a tall one or maybe just another one there but it's it was getting down into this little pot so much so that it was hard to water without hitting just this big leaf and it bouncing the water off but uh, I will try to work on that a little bit more and get get it. I love the pretty um, elephant ears, caladium. That's wonderful. But I'd also like for you to be able to see this this little pot. Looks like butterflies are not the only things that enjoy the big flat or not flat little umbral umbral. Umbel, yeah, can't say that word evidently, <laughs> not today, but uh, these beautiful flowers anyway that the, the pollinators just love, and of course we love them too, even this little pasta is trying to renew itself and I still want if we could just get some good soaking rain and some cooler days where it wouldn't hurt to transplant this I would love to put some of this in the front and maybe still go ahead and leave some right here but also to put some in a pot and put like in this bare spot right here and let it grow in a pot where I could move it if it needs moving because of the heat kind of just destroying it like it has this one pretty much but it's still alive it just needs it needs to renew itself and it's trying already trying look at this isn't that beautiful that's autumn clematis in all of its glory shining with those beautiful white blooms just fill totally out i've been wanting to show it to you like this for so long and here it is there seems to be a little gap right in there that's not in full bloom let me go to the other side and see if it looks any better but this makes me happy and no it's not really more filled out here but it's still filled out enough that i i feel like it's something you would enjoy to see i think it's beautiful and actually it does smell nice also i couldn't really remember if the if this clematis had a scent or not but it does and it smells good oh gosh you can see i left my my cleaning supplies out here for cleaning the bird bath because I'm not nearly finished yet. And I see that some of the roses and some little scraggly leftover hibiscus, if you can call this giant beauty scraggly, <laughs> have decided to bloom. So hope to get another one of these started, but I don't know if there will be enough foliage there to get a clipping and start it. And that also goes for this little um, I think this is called purple rooster bee balm and that's about all that's left of it as far as foliage for some reason the rest of it just died back I don't even know if you can see that there but it's all this is just no foliage on it at all whatsoever but I do believe that it will come back up in the spring from the roots I'm hoping that's correct and I would still like to get a little piece of this started somewhere. Just a little start can do great wonders later on. I also bought a new hose yesterday. These are wonderful. If they're anything like the one I had before, and I'm pretty sure they are. The one that I'm using now is also the one that I had before. Of course, it's, it has got to where it just kinks and kinks and kinks, but it didn't for a long time. It's three years old. 
and for a one of the lighter hoses to last even a year is a great wonder so these I just love them and I I'm ready to get this one going although last night I did not have time to get it hooked up even though I spent as much time just trying to unkink the other one but sometimes it's just hard to get the old ones to release and I may have a problem there I'll just have to figure that out and uh, take care of it as as needed this is my old one and it does still work doesn't leak it's wonderful but it does eventually get to where it just kinks and kinks and then you're spending so much time you know and kinking and I did get a new one for the front and it just made watering it just so much better so much better and so um, I'm grateful for that and ready to get it better in the back because that's a, a long way to go just unhose and kinking the hose every few minutes look at this I'm seeing this pretty This is a blue daze, and isn't it beautiful today? Shining in all its blue glory. That's another thing I need to do is fix some of my garden art and get it back in the garden. There was a little girl here that needs to be here. She just makes up this little container garden, but I wanted to show it to you anyway because its purslane moss is blooming this morning and looking great. And right beside it there, the vine is a black-eyed Susan vine and it's looking good too and blooming some today. And the pretty verbena, this pretty pink verbena is still in this show this morning. So far I've only had my white ball dahlia and this beautiful purple and white dinner plate dahlia to bloom. I do see that I'm soon, maybe soon, to have a yellow or yellow and red bloom coming on or opening up. And I want to totally redo this little pot. It's needing help in, in every way. <laughs> This one, too, could sure use some help. <laughs> All my peonies still need to be clipped back. And then it won't be that long before it'll be time to dig the dahlia. So there's so much to do. Oh, look at this. This is that, um, oh gosh, let me think a minute. While you just look at that beauty. It's called Sunshine Caryoptrichus. And isn't it pretty? This is a small one. I had the regular size once before, and it uh, a wind a wind came through and just uprooted it, and I never could get it to take root and go again. It just went ahead and slowly died. But this one is a smaller one, which I have a little better room for. And oh my goodness, I think this is going to be beautiful. I would um, I had a yellow mum here which played so prettily off of this blue that I it didn't it didn't live so I may end up putting something yellow here beside it at some point but right now it's still pretty even if it's not getting something else to just kind of highlight it for you and look at this this is some more verbena blooming really pretty and the African uh, daisy also put on more bloom for me. I thought that one little bloom would probably be its limit, but it's just decided, you know, it's time to shine while I can.
I guess there's something about getting older too and realizing that your season of life is about over that goes ahead and gives you some kind of courage or whatever to go for it because you know we're not going to be here forever and it would be great to be able to leave something beautiful. I put some cuttings of one of my sedums into this pot. Um, I had a few little ones that this was just full of these little sedum and they looked great in there but uh, they died out except for that one little bit and I kind of put a a few little scraggly ones here and there hoping it will fill all out again but then I just went ahead and put this sedum in there with it and if they'll grow together I think that would be beautiful with one being tall and the other being at the bottom of it it could show off for us one year please be sure to like and to subscribe to the channel